Hey guys, this is Neil and I want to give you an update on what is going on with the Charleston Outreach. A few months ago, as pastor was praying and seeking the Lord, Charleston, South Carolina was laid on his heart. Our church sent a small team to scout out the area, meet with pastors and community leaders about what God wants to do in the Charleston area. And the results were astounding. God didn't just open a door, He opened the floodgate for the coming months to see revival happen in the streets of Charleston. America was called the New World. Many also coming over, like the Exodus leaving you know, in Egypt and going back to Israel. There was an exodus from Europe coming over here. And people called us the second exodus, and they called us not only the New World, but they called us what? The Promised Land the new Israel, not that we replaced Israel because that is God's promised land, but we were like Israel and we were the only nation in world history modeled after Israel. And out of the, the, new, the new world and the new promised land, there was one city called the Holy City, like Jerusalem, and that is the Holy City of Charleston. It's called the Holy City by the Sea. Charleston, rich in culture, has people come from all over the world to get away from the day to day. Jerusalem is centripetal, drawing all people to themselves. Charleston is centripetal. All people come here. There is a mystical quality about Charleston that is like an old shoe. Everybody who comes here feels at home. They feel a peace in their heart. They are weary of the syncopated unrest of a crazy world and they come here to set their feet to a saner tempo. Just like a big city, are boroughs in different areas of the city and almost a church on every street corner. But with that comes also much division between the churches. During our time in Charleston, we were able to meet with 12 to 14 pastor and community leaders that all had good things to say about joining together to bring an outreach to Charleston. We were able to make some big connections for equipment donations and even found out that Big Daddy Weave and Jason Gray wanted to get involved. So that leaves us with a question. What is our part in getting involved in the Charleston Outreach? It's time to start praying and stepping out in faith to see our fellowship to be a blessing to many. What will your part be? Will you pray? Will you give? And when you serve to see God do amazing things in Charleston, South Carolina.